Hi, Nick here from South Bay Marine in Jersey. Today we're going to have a look on this, the Beneteau Swift Trawler 50. It's the flagship model from Beneteau Swift Trawler range and we're going to have a look on board and show you over here. Starting up on the flybridge on the Swift Trawler 50, uh, we've got a repeated 12 inch multi-touch plotter and we've got a heading compass, we have a autopilot repeater, audio instrument for your engine controls, you have your searchlight and trim tabs along with the IPS joystick for manoeuvring the boat in the marina, with a backup bow thruster and your main engine throttle controls. You've also got underneath fusion sound system controls which you can control from up here or down in the saloon. Moving further aft on the flybridge we've got a galley unit with sick hot and cold water. We've also got the grill which you can use using the generator which is on board power together with uh, a drinks fridge on the flybridge, which is 42 litres, also storage and bin. The galley lets you entertain for the 10 people that you've got space for on the seating and the table, which is on the flybridge. You've also got a large area aft on the flybridge that you can use for sunbathing, etc. You've got uh, room for life rafts, one either side, with tie down points for hydrostat release. Moving into the cockpit, which has large hardware for tying up, and it also benefits from having electric capstan winches very handy for when you're trying to moor up and getting the boat tight alongside the pontoon. On the port side you also have a second windlass just in case you end up moored on this side. You have good access into all your lockers in here and also your lazarette locker which is underneath the floor, all connected together to make it very easy to store items. An option on this model is to have the hydraulic dinghy platform. Uh, the control panel is here, you also have remote controls so that you can use it on the rib itself and the whole platform, dink included, all goes down into the water for an easy launch and you can even keep your feet dry by being inside the rib when it goes down. Also in the cockpit you have your engine access which is large. Down in the engine room, we've got the Cummins Onan generator, which is 11 kilowatt. We also have obviously the main power plants, which are a pair of Volvo D6435 horsepower engines connected to IPS drives. Moving into the saloon on the 50, this particular model has the high gloss mahogany woodwork. Um, she also has the TV that uh, comes out, which goes up and down on an electric lift. Plenty storage throughout the whole saloon with doors that open for cups and glasses and also deep upper storage that goes underneath. On the starboard side of the saloon we have this wonderful settee which also converts into a double bed with a domestic mattress makes it very comfortable to add a fourth cabin to this vessel which has curtains to come across uh, to make it feel private for the people using it. With the Swift Trawler 50 you have this table that also pulls out and makes for a larger dining table. Uh, you can use that with the extra director's chairs that come around the outside and also the settee so you can dine inside with six persons comfortably. Moving into the galley on the Swift Trawler 50, you have got the standard fridge, which is 130 litres, but you also have on this particular model uh, two drawer fridges, which is very handy, and they both lock away those cupboards. 
you have got an area to put a microwave if you so wish, but on this particular boat you have a 240 volt galley with a microwave oven combi built into the galley. There's a lot of equipment on this particular model, uh, which include, on this one, a six person dishwasher. You've also got a very clever bin system where you can put your rubbish down into this hole and you actually collect it from the outside of the boat through a cupboard. So no need to bring your rubbish through the boat. There is also, above our heads here, a little cupboard that opens and you've got a dumb waiter inside there, which you can place food and that sort of thing on there and pick it up from the flybridge direct, which saves you walking up the staircase at the back. Plenty of ventilation at the galley. This side window opens and you've got twin stainless steel sinks with mixer tap. So plenty of room for, for washing up. A really neat feature on the 50 is this little area up here. It can double as your morning breakfast area or this table goes down, cushions come out from behind, and this area can be a complete settee, which will be great for when you're navigating along and maybe there's four or five of you that want to be at the helm and the lower helm, uh, and also the cushion, this backrest cushion pulls across uh, and it fills in the back area as well, so it completes the setup for the seating. Moving to the helm, we have a complete Raymarine suite of electronics, two 12-inch plotters with radar, depth sounder and AIS. We've also got autopilot and we've got a complete Volvo computer system. All the buttons to control the systems on board and also a windscreen wiper and fresh wash system. The benefits of the Swift Trawler range is this side door which opens and closes as you need it but it's wonderful for when you're docking because you've got the joystick that will fall to your left hand and you can be half out of the door, you can look towards the stern, there is an aft camera as well to help you but you can see what is going on at all times and there's also a side access to the pontoon so it makes for docking very easy. When you're coming into the marina you can open this little side door which gives you the access onto the pontoon. The side decks on the Swift Trawler 50 are very wide, you can walk perfectly straight going up towards the bow which leads you to a sun pad area and also the stainless steel bars come up to create a forward bench seat. At the bow we have water tank filler and we also have a fresh water deck wash for washing down not only the decks but also your anchor chain when it's coming back in from when you've been at anchor. You've got a Lumar anchor windlass and also a gypsy for lifting ropes should you require it um, with a very heavy duty delta anchor and you've got about 30 meters of chain in there and another 30 meters of warp. Another essential on board this particular model is the 23 bottle wine cooler uh, which is powered by either mains or generator and uh, can be powered by inverter if you're at sea. We have the very generous VIP forward cabin on the 50. Plenty space to walk around the bed. Uh, we've got a flat back to the bed as well. Uh, you've got a fusion sound system uh, on the starboard side, which you can charge your phone and also play DVDs onto the flat screen tally on the bulkhead. Also on board you have a hanging locker and on the other side you have shelf storage, plenty of room for a few days away, maybe even a week. Moving from the VIP cabin you have the day heads which is through here to starboard. Here you have a vacuum flush toilet system which is here and in the master cabin. the day heads we've got the bunk cabin which is extremely comfortable for 
two people. You've got lots of storage space inside these wardrobes and hanging lockers. Uh, plenty of light from the port holes as well. And you've got room behind this door for a washing machine tumble dryer. The midship's cabin, the master cabin on the 50. Plenty headroom. You've got separate WC and shower. You've got heating in both the WC and the shower and the master cabin. So you've got three separate heating outlets. The heating system on this boat is truly phenomenal. It's got a water heated system. So it's uh, Eberspacher hydronic system, uh, which hot water has been pumped around the boat. And it has outlets, for instance, in here under the bed, uh, which has a matrix blowing hot air from the, uh, from the supply of hot water. The heating system is controlled in each cabin by this thermostat system, which you can turn up or down to turn it on and off. And there's also a master switch to turn the fans off. On the starboard side of the master cabin, you have the access to the shower and the sink. Uh, lots of storage in there. Plenty of light as well. You also have plenty of volume, again, of locker storage, hanging lockers, and also shelves. There's more storage underneath this sideboard. Again, more shelving in there. The blinds also go up and down just to give you a bit more privacy.